Hey good friend, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression on the Perception Palette, the Makeup Shayla and Colourpop collaboration. So I already know what the palette looks like, but I have not touched the shadows. Well, I cheated. I did touch two of the shimmer shadows, but I haven't touched the rest of them. So I'm going to um, probably do some swatches first, and then I'm going to uh, actually do a first impressions tutorial so this is the outer packaging it comes in this is what the palette looks like here's the shadows and I guess so I'm gonna do the top row first so do you guys want to see me swatch it or does it matter? I don't know. First impressions on this first row so far. This first row. Oh wait, I didn't tell y'all. So this shade is, this shade is Stallion. So that one's coming off a little dry and patchy. Um, this next shade is called Titus. That's washed very beautifully. This next shade is called TF. So that one was very creamy. And this first shade is Unbothered. So that's the first row. Now I'm gonna do the next row starting here. So this shade is called Spill the Tea. And that was very creamy. So that's that shade. The next shade is Diva. I like these. These shimmer shadows are very, very, very creamy. The next one is IE. And the last one is 14. So some of them feel drier than others. This one was one of them. Next row, so the first one is Strut and Slay. Then we have a matte shade and this is Culture. That feels creamy a little bit. That looks nice. That's a nice swatch. A little bit. And I really liked this shade when I first washed it. And this is the shade Sassy. And it's like a duochrome. And this one is very, very, very creamy. Look at that. And the last one is September. Well, not the last one, but the last in this row is September. Um, the pan is moving, so hopefully it doesn't come out, but it is moving. Okay. 
And then the last row starting from here, we have Revenge. This is a matte and it's smooth. That's nice pigmentation. Don't get my face. And then the next one we have right here is Thick. Another matte. Okay, that one then swatch as good. Next, another matte is called Played Out. Nice dark brown. That swatched pretty good. And then the last shade <laughs> is a matte shimmer shade. Well, not matte shimmer, but matte with glitter. A matte shimmer shade. And this is called Shade. Alright, so now that we got all of that out of the way... It's time to play. I'm going to take this mirror off. Well, not the mirror, but the plastic. And we're going to get to work. Okay. Whoops. Pretty big mirror. I like the mirror. I can see myself really good. So I love the mirror. Um, not sure where we're going with this, so let me ponder and figure out what I'm gonna do, and then bring out closer as well. All right, so my eyes are already primed, and I think I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Number no. Seven brush. It's clean. It's clean. So don't worry about it. It's clean. <laughs> and I am going to start with the shade Revenge. And I've already primed my eyes with my um, Benefit Stay On Straight, the same primer I always use. And I am just going to put this up here. So as you can see, um, I don't, I think, I think Revenge was one that didn't swatch good. I'm not sure. But it sure as heck is working and blending out pretty good on my eye. So that's why you can't always rely on swatches, but actually how it performs on the eye. And so far it is coming out pretty good. It's very buildable. I don't see any patchiness. It's blending, it's blending out very good. Hi. Then I think I want to take. Then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number nine brush, and I am going to dip it in, plate out, just to deepen the crease a little bit. and then hmm should we take stallion I think I'm gonna take stallion and apply that to my crease oh so I am getting a lot of kickback um but 
it ain't that bad. Um, I don't, I don't see any fallout on my face, so I'm pretty. So I'm okay with that. So let's just see how this applies. Oh, I forgot to mention this one is like a it's a black with blue or purple sh sparkles in it as well this like shade a matte with shimmer in it or glitter however you want to describe it oh and this is also my morphe m139 brush And I'm going back in with played out and going over this black. Then we're going to take this clean brush and just blend out this black. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer and carve my crease. Okay, so with the same concealer brush, what I do with it, just going to wipe it off. Then I'm going to take the shade 14 and put that on my lid where I carved it. Um, so I haven't, I'm going to see how it applies. Um, I'm going to see how it applies dry and then to see how it goes and if so I might spray a little spray on it to get it to pop more but we'll see. Okay so it's not performing too bad. So it looks good on camera, but I honestly think it's the brush that I'm using. It's the brush that I'm using that's not making it spread right, I think. I think that's what I want to say. That's making it not apply right. I, I believe it's the brush. The shadow looks good though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the brush. Definitely the brush. Okay, so there's the pigmentation. There we go. And then I'm going to use this small pencil brush, my Morphe M138, and I'm going to dip back into Stallion. And then I'm going to go back with this Morphe 9 brush. No, 
have more Phoebe H Cosmetics and just blend it out one more time with no extra product. That way it all blends in together. Um, and I think I'm gonna take. I think I want to take TF and uh, apply TF to my brow bone highlight. Okay, so boom, both eyes is now completed. But I feel like something is missing. I don't know what. But something, something is missing. I think I wanna liven that blue up a little bit. But I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna take Zola from my Masquerade palette and just sweep her like in the middle. Let's see. If not, I'll just F this look up. Okay. I don't know. I think it did something. But I'm going to finish my face and then I'll be right Alright, so the rest, most of my face is done with my foundation, concealer, and all that completed. Whoa. I'm exposing myself. Okay, so all of that is completed. Now I am going to go to my Zulu palette. And I'm going to get this rose gold color right here. And my Morphe M438 brush. And put it is my highlight. Put it. Put it is just very little. It's very little. Put it is my highlight. Sorry for that, boys. My bad, y'all. My bad. So this is, this is nowhere near the um, actual highlight that I use, but the one I normally use is still MIA. So we gotta use what we gotta use. Oh, and I forgot my brow bone highlight from my other eye, which is TF. Okay. Now, I'm going to put on some, I'm going to put on my Kat Von D liquid eyeliner off camera because I need to take my time. Okay, so my eyeliner is on. Now I'm going to complete the bottom of my eye and I am going to go iron with, hmm. I'm going to go in with Stallion. Okay, y'all, so I thought I was recording, but I realized my battery, no, I realized my cart was full, so, yeah, I'm just going to tell y'all what I did, so, I don't know where I stopped at, but under my eyes, I did Stallion and Revenge, and then for my inner corner highlight, I did Spill the Tea, so, 
The eyes are almost complete. I'm going to put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my lashes on and off camera I also put um, my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean on my eyes as well and my bottom waterline. And now I'm going to finish the lips. So I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Lippy Pencil and the shade BFF3. Lips are rushing. So this is my first time using the Lippy Stick by ColourPop as well. And it glides on super easy, might I say. And this is the Quickie Lipstick, Quickie Lux, the Quickie Lux Lipstick by um, ColourPop and Makeup Shayla as well. This is the shade. And it's called Quickie. I haven't used a lipstick in a minute. Are my lips that dry? So I'm gonna go back in. Let me scoot up. So I'm gonna go back in with my BFF liner clean that up mmm I like this mmm yes I like it are y'all liking this so this lip just took this lip to a whole new level I'm on a new level <laughs> And I'm also taking the ColourPop Times Makeup Shayla's Ultra Glossy Lip. And this is the shade Neat Freak to go on top of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's cute on its own or whatever. I don't know, but we're going to try the lip. We're going to see how the gloss looks with it. And then we'll change it. You know, we don't like it. I mean, so what? Are we here for this look, guys? Are we liking it? Are we loving it? Is it just vibing? I mean, what is it? I mean, can you see yourself wearing this? Oh, and the lashes are um, beauty, su beauty supply store, I mean, lashes, and they don't have a name. Oh. Well, for my beauty supply store, it's FO2. So, um, yeah, there's Mink 3D Lashes and the uh, style FO2 if you have a beauty supply store by you. So, yeah, that's this is basically the look. I mean, we done. Don't mind my earring missing. We don't care. Okay? We don't care. She missing. So, what? Uh, so about my palette 
Is she bone or is she not? Is she in the land of the pigmented or is she in the valley of the shadow of chalk? We gonna find out. So I definitely think the ColourPop and Makeup Shayla's collaboration is definitely in the land of the pigmented. And I definitely recommend her, although the swatches did kind of throw me off a little bit. Some of the shades and the swatches kind of was like off and dry or whatever. But like we all say in the makeup blend, it's not always about the swatches. It's how I perform in the eye and all the, the shades that I use. And I use at least a C. I use TL, Spill the Tea, Revenge. Played out in style, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So I use five shadows today. Um, I use two mattes. Um, I use the shimmer mat and two. Yeah, and two shimmers, two shimmer shades. And I am definitely loving the payoff of this palette. I definitely recommend you guys go get it, go check it out because, you know, she's only $23 and she's having a 20% off sale on all her favorites. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Um, I have a link down below to Colourpop. So if you guys want to go purchase some of her, um... You guys want to go purchase her perception palette? Make sure you click that link down below. And um, don't I just I just love it. I mean, we I'm here for the looks. So hopefully y'all here for this looks. I'm here for this look. She's she's definitely ready for a date night. If I had a date to go anywhere. <laughs> Wash this makeup off and get the shower and go to bed. Get those nut chatter or something like that. Talk to y'all. I don't know. But yeah, so this is the end look. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Because I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. We have to come up with a feeling myself dance when our eyeshadow looks are popping. So y'all just leave y'all comments and recommendations down below when I feel myself looks or whatever. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe first and foremost. Secondly, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And thirdly, make sure you share so all your friends can see this look and get this look and y'all can go on the girls' night out. Or whatever, or whatever. What is this? Y'all, that don't make no sense. Okay, so, um, yeah, make sure you share this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys so much. Bye.